Grab a bite at a local eatery with the heart of a Jewish delicatessen. And kick back and relax at some smooth tunes as you enjoy a drink or two. Yep, Ashley Williams is getting a first-hand look at the new and improved Solomon's Vinyl Diner. Hey, Ashley. Love it. Doing a little dance. Hi, good morning. Oh, I love it. Yeah, guys, you might have known it as Solomon's Delicatessen. It has now been rebranded, renamed. It is now Solomon's Vinyl Diner. It's all about the food. It's all about the booze. And it's all about the music, the beats. Please hold. You guys hear that? It is a oh, vibe yes, so yes. early on this lovely Thursday morning. You gotta love it. Uh, this is the crew behind everything you are seeing here this morning. There's a little sample of the food. We'll get to that in a little bit, but let's bring in Ryan. Ryan, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. What? So a rebrand. What it? This is beautiful in here for starters, but also let's just talk about the concept and what you guys wanted to do. Yeah, well, we're in a what we're calling a remastered Tower Records building right now. So we wanted to keep the through line of music as well as the rebel spirit of one of the most uh, countercultural brands that shifted music culture. So uh, we took um, the idea of Tower Records and the classic American Diner and made the remix. I love that. And if you look, if you look around, the vibe, the energy, it is perfection. But you're also going to see everything kind of pertaining to music, pertaining to uh, vinyl, pertaining to just like you said, Tower Records. Um, I call you Abs, but we know you as Brian Washington. What else do you go by? Uh, Brian Washington or Abs? <laughs> either one of those. Um, abs, you're the director of music here. I mean, honestly, like when I first walked in, I just started dancing, and I think that's what you guys want. Right? That's the goal. The goal is to give. The people of this community is something that they absolutely deserve, which is a rich field space of music and culture and energy. When you come in here, you're going to have great food, uh, you have great service, and of course, you're going to have great music. Yeah, and I, I was going to say, I love even just looking around and seeing the album covers, the record covers around the place. It's really, truly a reflection of what Tower Records was and what it meant to this community. So everything from blues, soul, funk, rock and roll, hip hop, you'll hear all of that here um, in this space, everything that pretty much encapsulates what Sacramento is. Yeah, it's such a vibe. Okay, perfect timing. Nagina Guyton out with the with the food. This is perfect timing. So good Yum. to see you, my good love. Good to see you, too. So, Nagina, we know Nagina Guyton. Okay, so tell me about the food concept. You talked about, just in general, the overall arching theme. We talked about the music. Let's talk about the food. Absolutely. So, with the food, again, we're just uh, taking the echo of what these gentlemen are doing with being fun and playful and international and having food that's more eclectic um, and of course absolutely delicious and tasty and so we want to have this kind of like a typical diner an all-day menu where you can get breakfast for you know in the future breakfast for dinner breakfast for lunch um, and some really savory fun items I feel like this is not your typical breakfast like it is but I know you you're not gonna do anything simple this has to be elevated it, it is and I'm working with a great team I've got um, my two leads that have helped with the creation of the menu, uh, Jeremy Munoz and Ibn Abdul uh, Razik, and they've done an amazing job. And we've sat down and we've kept some classics. Like I want people to understand, like the Reuben is still on the menu. You could still get that, and we definitely have the rust, we have the the lox and the bagels, but we've got some more playful dishes like the. Um, French toast and fried chicken, and arugula salad. You know, get that little healthy in there as well. So I, I just hope that everybody loves it and enjoys it and leaves full. I've heard nothing but great things. I also read something about some kind of twist on SpaghettiOs. Yes. What is that about? So uh, when I think of like the 70s diner, and I'm a 70s baby, like the one thing to me that just felt like home was SpaghettiOs. Yes. And so I was like, how do we do that elevated? How do we do that? in 2023 and we do it with the tomato basil sauce and um it is really savory and just it heartwarming so yeah. and we're taking a shot of the kitchen now we do have to wrap it up but when's going to be the most popping time for people to come over and have fun yeah so we're focused mostly right now at our brunch hours saturdays and sundays from uh nine to three with dj starting upstairs in the listening lounge at 11. All right, sounds good. I'll make sure to link everything to the website, GoodDaySacramento.com. In the meantime, should I eat something? Maybe yeah, of the course. chicken's calling yeah. my name. The it would everything's be rude calling not my to. name. Um, but also, May what's I? playing right now? What's playing right now? I can barely tell. Epic, what we got playing right now? Luther Vandross Luther right now. Vandross. Classic, classic. Mm. That with the chicken? Mm. All right, for it. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy. Together? Luther, 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 with the chicken. Yeah. Luther, Luther. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Ash. Luther, Luther, Luther. All right.